Okay, so to make a mock-up, we're going to download a file from Behance. And we're going to thank Sam Minton. Thank you, cousin. You're going to download the file we have right here. It's a, it's a mega link, okay? When we have it ready, we can open it up with Photoshop. And here we can see that there's a few folders, okay? Each one references a board. So, I'm going to keep this one, the one I care about. Where it says replace graphics, we're going to put in our design. I'm going to make it a little bit smaller so that it's not too close to the edge. And we can see it properly. When I have this, we can save it, and there it is. I'm going to modify the color of the wheel so that it fits a little bit better. I'm going to put them in, I don't know, blue, for example, the same blue we're using for the neck, or at least, you know, something similar to that. Let's make it more blue like that. I like that. I like this a lot. To modify the background, well, first I'm going to put it in the middle. So to modify the background, uh, we have, well, we have the wooden backing. Or we can double click on the white layer, overlay the color. And there we would modify and choose the color we wanted. We, we can't really see it because we have the panel of wood in front, but this is how we would see it. So to see it better, I'm going to lose these guides. I'm not really an expert in Photoshop. I'm sure there's a quicker way to do this, but yeah, this is how we're doing it. Here, we're going to be able to see how it looks. We can even modify the background. We can do whatever we want with it. And that's how our board's going to look when we print it. I hope that you make a bunch of tests and that you make a ton of designs. And I'm going to tell you to put your board on toothpad so we can see it. And I'll see you in the next course. Bye.